What's good guys, it's your boy Master Chappie, and we are here for the Madden NFL 13 season, and the Secrets of the Pro Series is back. And today I'm going to tell you guys how to improve your screen passing, and give you a little bit of tips on how to lab and things like that. So, first off, let's just go ahead and start off with this lab. And now when you're in the practice mode, you really want to um, go up against certain defenses that you think you're going to see often, like a two-man under or a cover three or cover four or, you know, some blitzes that you may run or you've seen before. And, you know, run your offense or whatever you're trying to work on against stuff like that, uh, various couple things. Um, I typically like to run against a two-man under, uh, and then a cover one man, um, and then, you know, a cover three, cover four, a couple zones, um, just, to, just to see how things work um, out the best. And um, as you can see here, man, we're just really just labbing this screen, trying to figure out what is the best possible way to make the most out of the screen and get the most possible yards. And I believe I found the Krabby Patty formula, as I like to call it. Um, you know, that is the key. Finding the Krabby Patty formula. What is the Krabby Patty formula? That is the formula that was going to lead to your most success. You know, what combination of things you need to do. Um, you know, how do you make your play? Um, essentially, I look at playing Madden as making a fine burger. What do you need to do to make that burger as delicious as possible? So, looking at that. Now we're going to look at the screen pass. Now, there's a few things I want you to do. Um, you know, not every single screen pass is exactly the same. Because as you can see um, on this example here, if you change that running back route to a flat um, by hitting Y and, you know, Y again for the running back's button and then right on the right stick, he goes to the flat really quick. Um, as you guys know, the running backs do have new hot routes. You can put them on a wheel, you can put them on a flat, you can put them on a delay route, or you could leave them on his um, default route. Now, the best thing i found to do is put the running back on a delay route. And then after you hike the ball, you're going to want to take a step, you know, roll down and towards the outside, away from the way the running back is going to. Uh, and the reason we do this is because the running back will no longer just stand in the middle. As you can see, like in this example, he kind of stands just kind of in the middle. And he's not really as effective as he could be. But um, also with that, if you roll straight down to the middle, sometimes he blocks and that's not good either because, you know, sometimes he'll get pancaked and, you know, you're just completely screwed or he just gets off too slow. As you can see in this example here, he's just not where he needs to be. Now when you roll to the left, as you can see, he moves further outside and uh, it just gives him a nice um, initial position to receive the ball and really make a play. So in this case, that would be the Krabby Patty formula. Put the running back on a delay route, hike the ball, roll a little bit towards the outside, away from the screen, and um, you'll be good to go. So that is how I like to run screens. Um, also, you know, I've noticed that if you put them on the wheel route, they get tackled, especially if it's a man defense by whoever the defender is. They get out there just a little too fast. And then with the flat routes, they're, you know, they're not really going upfield at all, so... You know, that leads to the problems there. Um, you find yourself sometimes getting hit in the backfield. And it seems the blocking on the screen itself gets worse when you put them on the direct flat. But depending on the formation, you may want to put them on a flat. You may want to leave them on his regular. But generally speaking, in most cases out of the plays I've looked at, and I looked at quite a few, um, putting them on the delay route and rolling to the weak side, and just throwing them a nice little bullet pass or whatever has gotten the best results. As you can see here, we're getting consistent yardage every play. Now, this was Secrets of the Pros Episode 1. Sorry for the delay. I've been, you know, getting situated. School just started this week. So I do apologize for that. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope y'all found this helpful. Leave a like if it did. Be sure to subscribe for more. I'm out of here.